Well, I, I voted to continue to keep the death penalty, but it is something that I'm not as sure about that as I used to be. I mean, I understand uh, I've had a lot of second thoughts about the death penalty, especially since, you know, you're, you have to be extremely careful that you don't put someone to death that is not guilty. Um, so I, I uh, have mixed feelings about it, and certainly uh, the fact that he signed it, I, I think we all anticipated that was going to happen. Uh, I don't see, you know, we weren't, we were not executing people anyway in this state, and so it, 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 it isn't going to change things, uh, certainly uh, very much, I don't think. So why the sudden change of heart? What, what from, from, me, from me yeah, or from, from you well, from uh, as I said, I, 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 think, I think anyone who really thinks about this has some second thoughts. Whatever way they come down on this issue, it's not an easy, you know, uh, some of the best discussion I've heard in this legislature over the 15 years that I've been here were on the floor about the death penalty because I think people were speaking kind of from their heart uh, rather than politically. Uh, and, and, and in the process, there, there is no doubt that there are arguments on both sides of this issue. I came down on the side of the death penalty mainly because I have a, I've had a lot of of uh, state's attorneys call me and say it is a tool that we use uh, to, to help us um, in, in trials. Also, uh, corrections guards who basically said to me, you know, we deal with people who have committed murder. We deal with people, and, and those people, they sometimes come after the guards. And there's nothing more than we can do with them than life if it's, they're on, they're, they're already being in there for life. And if they kill a guard, guess what? It'll still be for life. Nothing changes. And so their attitude was there needs to be something above simply life in prison. And I came down on that side, but not with the, the certainty that I was right. And you said uh, earlier that it was long anticipated that Quinn would sign this, um, what, what I guess are your reactions to that? Um, that you knew he was going to sign it, but when and where it was up in the air. Well, you know, I don't know what went through his mind. Um, you know, I sometimes when things are signed, or there are political reasons why they might be signed. You may wait to do it. The, you know, politics gets involved with a lot of things here in Springfield, and and I, he may have had some political motives to wait, and 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 not sign it earlier. But I think uh, I, I felt that he was going to sign. And I think most people felt he was going to do it. It was just a matter of when. And what do you think this means to your constituents back at home? What kind of reaction have you been getting from them? <clears throat> Not a whole lot of reaction on either side. I don't think it changes life a whole lot uh, for people in my district. You know, the death penalty was s still in effect here, but was not used for a long time. Did it change the world? Did it change life in Illinois? Probably not. And this, this signature, this, this new law that was passed, probably won't change lives a whole lot. And you mentioned that, uh, I guess, it doesn't, Illinois isn't a state that has been practicing right. the death penalty. Right. But how, but you also say it's used as a threat? It can be used many times by prosecutors, uh, by s state's attorneys, who basically feel that it is a tool that you can use uh, in trial. For instance, if a person realizes that, that he may go to the death penalty, you may have them plea bargain and things like that, and it will, you know, it will be a simpler trial, easier trial. They may plea bargain for life imprisonment rather than rather than simply try to fight it and stay away from the and stray away from the death penalty. All right, and where do you see the future of the death penalty in Illinois? Well, I think the future has pretty well been been drawn now with the signature. Uh, there will will not be a death penalty now. I'm not real sure what uh, Quinn does with those people who are presently on death row. I, I, I'm going to guess uh, they will be. Ex they will be where they are right now and certainly will not be put to death. All right. Anything else you'd like to add? No, not at all. But, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, this is behind us now and we have uh, other problems we need to deal with here in the state.